what's up this is Nainia from Techbatic Solutions and today I will talk about how Apple launches its products, what it includes in its products, what it does not include in its products, why it does that and in the due process I will explain the concept of planned obsolescence. So let's begin. Apple loves to launch their products in a flamboyant manner and they do that pretty well with the help of the keynotes that they hold regularly throughout the year. And at each of these keynotes, they ensure that their product has got enough substance. By substance, I mean features, so that they can show that particular product off really well at the keynote. And one fine example of this is the Apple MacBook, which was recently unveiled at one of their keynotes earlier this month. At this particular keynote, Apple concentrated on the design aspect rather than the performance aspect. In the design aspect, they talked about features such as slimness, colors that they are offering, force touch, USB 3.1 Type-C connector, miniature motherboard and fanless CPU. They didn't boast about the performance aspect because the MacBook is equipped with Intel Core M processor which is not all that great at performance. And right after this particular product was unveiled, there were people with mixed reactions. There were some who said the design is wow and there were some who were like this is not like Apple. Apple does not launch these kind of products. Apple launches products which are good in every single aspect, which are kind of an all-rounder kind of products. But I'm here to prove that this is totally like Apple and Apple has been doing this since ages. And I will explain this with the help of planned obsolescence. So what exactly is planned obsolescence? Planned obsolescence is a process which uh, every business enterprise uses when they are thinking of a new product lineup or a service. So in this particular process, they will think of all the features that that particular product will have or that particular service will have in year one, year two, year three and so on and so forth. For example, there's a company which wants to launch product A. So they will chart down all the features that product A will have in year one, year two, year three, so on and so forth. So let's take an example of planned obsolescence. And first I will begin with iPhone iPhone is a great device. It's a revolutionary device which allows you to access your mails, access the internet, listen to music, check out your SMS, make phone calls and it also provides touch. So it's all in one device, right? But what about iPhone 3G? iPhone 3G is nothing but iPhone 2G packed with 3G chip and a GPS chip. That is planned obsolescence. What about iPhone 3GS? iPhone 3GS is nothing but a performance bump from iPhone 3G and 2G and a better rear camera with autofocus. Think about it, autofocus is there in mobile phones and cameras since ages. Apple could have easily implemented it in iPhone 2G or iPhone 3G but no, they want to implement it in iPhone 3GS so that they can boast about it at the keynote. This is planned obsolescence. Now, after removing or I would say after bringing out minimal upgrades in their products or services, every business enterprise has to bring out major upgrade and iPhone 4 was exactly that. iPhone 4 was a major upgrade and another revolution in smartphones. And right after iPhone 4, if you look at iPhone 4s, 5 and 5s, it's the same story. It's planned obsolescence altogether. Now let's come to the next example that is iPad. iPad 1 was launched right after iPhone 4 and iPhone 4 sported a retina display. iPad was launched with a resolution of 1024 by 768. Now if Apple wanted they could have launched it with retina display but they didn't because it's all about planned obsolescence. Now iPad 1 didn't have any cameras. Why? so that they can bring the cameras in iPad 2 and iPad 2 actually sported two cameras that is the front and the rear camera and it was a performance bump of 2x from its previous version but guess what the camera was pathetic it had pathetic image sensors and that's simply because of planned obsolescence that's because Apple wants to launch a better camera in the next version of the iPad so that they can boast about it and iPad 3 actually sported a rare camera with 5 megapixel image sensor and a performance bump. Now imagine why 5 megapixel? Apple could have easily launched 8 megapixel rare camera in the iPad 3. 
because their iPhones were already having rear camera with 8 megapixel. Why didn't they do that? That's all because of planned obsolescence. Now let's come to the MacBook. The MacBook has got, and I mean the recently unveiled MacBook, the new unveiled MacBook has got a USB 3.1 Type-C connector and there's only one connector. I totally get it that it's futuristic, you can perform data transfer, you can charge a device, you can perform screen sharing or screen mirroring with that particular port. But why only one? This is because Apple wants you to buy the adapters so that Apple can sell it for a really high cost and earn money out of it. So this is all planned obsolescence. And I'm predicting that the next version of MacBook won't be a design upgrade. It will be a more of a performance upgrade where they will say that it's got a FaceTime HD camera, more USB 3.1 Type-C connectors, etc, etc. And a better processor. Now the question is, is this planned obsolescence concept thing a new concept into the business? No, it is there since ages and Many of them have been doing it since a long time and if you want to take example of Apple then think about the Apple Lisa computer which was launched uh, way back before the 2000 era and uh, check out its specs and check out the price for uh, which it was launched you will get the concept of planned obsolescence right away and you'll get what I'm trying to say. Now the last question is, uh, is it only Apple who does this particular planned obsolescence thing? No, it's uh, all the uh, all the businesses do it, but it's just that Apple executes the planned obsolescence thing really well and the brand value of Apple helps it to execute the planned obsolescence thing extremely well. So that's it with this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrick.com.